Hello and welcome to day nine of the Sorry Adventure. Nine! We're running out of fingers. We're running out of fingers. We're going to have to do them together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for day nine, you are going to find the spring snap, fashion snap. There's lots of different ways of calling it. Um, it is not a magnetic snap. It is one of those that you push it together and it makes that fun click sound when you snap mm. it. Which is joyful. Mm. Um... And this, I do it this snap because it is raw edge. There is no lining. Um, so a magnetic snap just wouldn't really work. Right. And might work out a way to make it work, but gonna, that'll be in the I'm final. Make you. Okay. That'll be in the final. Lauren is not a fan of this kind of stuff. It's not that I'm not a fan. It's just one of those, like, hold my hand. I can't get them to work. Okay, I will help you with that part, too, when we do your video. Yay! Okay, so so you'll get your little snap. It comes in four pieces. Um, you'll also find in the blog post, um, there is a um, an Amazon link for a setter tool. If you do not have a, um, a hand press or you have a hand press but don't have the dies or whatever, it's um, $10, and it'll set just about every size of this that is available. Perfect. Um, and then the other thing you're going to need is one of the gorgeous rainbow hole punches from Warm You Know to punch the hole to put your snap in. So you're going to need this to and help. We recommend using like the 2 or the 2.5 to punch that hole. Um, are you okay with me? Yeah. Okay. Ahead. Perfect. So there is a somewhat high defect rate on these, which breaks my heart. Um, so if you have any issues with yours, please let us know and we're, we're happy to either work with you or send a replacement, but it could be that it just needs to be sharpened a little bit. So you can try that. And if you're going through thicker layers, you may need to use both hands with that strength. Um, and then these little silicone pads are meant to sit on the part the here underneath plate. the brass plate, um, to act as like a cutting mat since that blade up against metal may not work as well as if it has like something cushy. So if that's not quite working, you could also like slide your cutting mat underneath it just a little bit and then try to punch through your fabric, which I know is not the most ideal, but it's so pretty. <laughs> it is very pretty. Um, and I found, and one of the ways to sharpen it is punch yeah. holes through foil. Use like, just grab, a piece of foil, fold it over a few times, make it a little thick, and then punch through that, and that okay. helps sharpen your little the punches. Holes. Okay, yeah. cool. Because we've also been using like a emery board sharpener thing, mm -hmm. um, but they wear out so fast. So we'll... yeah, so you try the foil. Yeah, it'll it it's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's, it's a cheaper. lot easier because you're just punching holes. Because you're just punching holes. Yeah. So um, try that if you're having a little bit of trouble of it getting of getting it to go through. Yeah. But for the wallet, you only need to go through one layer of jelly. So yeah. it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. Also, that. note which way the arrow is pointing and only go that way. I know when I got my sample first, I broke it because I was like, oh, let me just twist the other way. And it was like, mm -mm. it's not designed to do that. So don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Is that everything? I feel me? like I covered what I needed to okay. say for it. <laughs> Any issues, reach out to me. Please let us know for anything ever, even if you're just like, can I talk to somebody? Yeah. Can you help me with this? <laughs> Josie would be like, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is day nine, nine of the Starry Adventure. We will see you tomorrow for day 10. And we're almost done. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will see you tomorrow.